So my name is Tyler Warga. I'm here with Bosch. I'm a product manager here for the interior monitoring systems team. And what we're gonna demonstrate is our interior monitoring systems, highlighting our occupant monitoring camera and our cabin sensing radar. And so what we have here on the screen is actually showing the output from our occupant monitoring camera. What this is doing is showing the uh, information from the driver and occupants in the vehicle. First, you're looking at our different facial landmarks on the screen. So you see here when I close my eye left to right, it's showing things like eye opening. It's also showing gaze patterns. So as you see on this side of the screen, as I look from side to side, the yellow box changes, depending what uh, por portion of the vehicle or outside the vehicle that I'm looking at. And that'll show things like distraction and drowsiness. So for example, we see here, as I'm looking at this screen, I'm indeed distracted because I'm looking at the center console. Or I can simulate drowsiness. I'm not drowsy at the moment, but we can simulate drowsiness by uh, opening my mouth and you'll see a yawning warning pop up. And those type of features can be implemented into vehicle to ensure someone's indeed, you know, not distracted, not drowsy as they're behind the wheel trying to operate. We also can highlight or at least determine if someone's performing unsafe driving behaviors, so such as phone call detection. And the alert pops up here on the screen. I'll do it one more time where the camera's facing through. And these are the type of behaviors that we want to highlight to ensure someone, uh, for example, behind the wheel is not doing unsafe driving behaviors, or for example, if a SE level two system is engaged, someone's able to grab the wheel when it's indeed necessary, uh, pending the uh, uh, minimal risk maneuver the vehicle actually has uh, implemented in. And then on top of that, we're also doing things for occupant monitoring detection. So we have the body pose recognition. So you see here the skeleton, as we call it, kind of going around. And so this is to highlight the type of person that's in the vehicle. So we're not only using the facial landmarks, but we're also using the body pose to determine that we are indeed adults in the vehicle. And so we can classify between adult and children, uh, depending on the body pose and also the facial landmarks that we have. And then last but not least is the child presence detection. So as I mentioned by the radar, we're actually seeing here the different uh, green shades around the vehicle. So the yellow-ish green shade is actually the classification by the camera. The green shade, so what I'll do is actually block the camera, is actually the radar itself. So the radar is picking up our respiration rate. Uh, typically adults between 10 and 20 beats per minute and children above 25, but infants around the 30 to 40 beats per minute, or uh, uh, respirations per minute, my apologies. And so what's, what that is doing is fusing the different systems together to determine indeed there is an occupant in the vehicle, in this case an adult. And then when we exit the vehicle, we can actually show when we go to the monitor over there, we'll see a child alert pop up to indeed see that there's still a child in the vehicle as we have Tommy breathing in the back. Um, and once we exit the vehicle, then an alert can be issued to ensure that a child's not left in the vehicle to ensure that uh, an infant wouldn't be left in a hot car, for example.